Jim Bob coerced Jill into covertly signing a long-term TLC deal. Jill described being approached by her father the day before her wedding to Derek, who asked her to sign a contract quickly. I just saw the signature page. It was like on the end of the kitchen table. Like, hey, I just need you guys to sign this. Jill said, we were literally running through the kitchen, and it was like whoever you could grab on the way through. I didn't know what it was for. Unbeknownst to both Jill and Derek at the time, the contract was a commitment of our life for the next five years to the show. Amid their missionary duties in El Salvador, the couple were forced by TLC to return to the U.S. for a shoot. Jill and Derek initially refused to return before they comply with the terms of the contract and the show. My dad sends us the signature page along with just the application of the contract. I was like, somebody forged my signature. Jill said, that's when we realized that I had signed this the day before we got married. That's not what I thought I was signing. Jim Holt, a close friend of Jim Bob and his wife Bob by Holt, reported the Dogger Patriarch approaching them and telling them that Josh had gotten into some trouble and touched his sister inappropriately. Josh, who was only 15 at the time, was dating Jim and Bob I's daughter, Kaylee Holt. Josh also requested the couple's daughter's hand in marriage. The Duggars also informed the Holt that they intended to keep Josh's confession to Kaylee a secret until after they married. When Jim inquired the Duggars were essentially using Kaylee as a carrot to persuade Josh to behave the right way, they said, Yeah, kind of. Jim Bob gave his older children a loan payment in exchange for signing another contract. Jim Bob gave his elder children a loan payment in exchange for signing another contract. On the topic of compensation, Jill says she never received any payouts while on 19 Kids and Counting and the spin-off series Counting On, which ran from December 2015 to March 2021. No check, no cash, no nothing, she added. For seven and a half years of my adult life, I was never paid. Only after Jill and Derek declined to return to TLC did Jim Bob offer them money to appear on the show. However, the specific payment was only $10 per hour for filming. Jim Bob had already promised some of his older children a flat amount in exchange for their cooperation. In order to receive that, you had to sign another deal with my dad, his production company, Matt Family Inc. Jill explained, it would be like forever. We were automatically like, we're done, she said. Eventually, you start making your own decisions, and it's piece by piece, little by little, to do what you need to do to survive. The Dillards left cutting on for good in 2017. Do you express regret about the Megan Kelly interview? Josh was accused of sexually assaulting four of his sisters and a family friend in 2015. Jill and her sister Jessa later went on Mac and Kelly's The Kelly File, where they sought to downplay the abuse they endured at the hands of their older brother. Jessa said Jill's behavior was inappropriate touching on fully clothed victims, most of it while girls were sleeping, emphasizing that the extent of it was mild. As for Jill, she said she chose to forgive Josh and applauded her parents for how they dealt with her brother. In the documentary, however, Jill revealed that the interview was merely the family's attempt to get to where TLC would be cool moving forward with the show. In hindsight, I wouldn't have done the Mac and Kelly stuff, Jill said tearfully. I felt like I was in a place again of bearing the burden and the weight of trust. Even though you volunteer, it's like you feel obligated to help. She continued, the Mac and Kelly thing, I don't even like to talk about it because it's not something that I'm proud of. If I hadn't felt obligated to, do it for the sake of the show and do it for the sake of my parents, I wouldn't have done it. Jill's husband, Derek Dillard, added that the interview was anything but voluntary. Basically, being called on to carry out a suicide mission, he said, you're gonna destroy yourself. But we need you to take the fall so that we can carry the show forward because the show cannot fail. And they were going to do whatever they could to get the return on their investment. If that meant collateral damage, that meant collateral damage.